can you introduce yourself briefly? What's your name? Uh, my name is John Bowie. And I'm where are you from? Australia. Yeah. I'm from Australia. How long have you been in Japan? Uh, I arrived here in 1985. Wow, quite a long time. What brought you to Japan in the first place? Uh, kendo was the first thing. I was studying kendo in Australia for a year and I went to Japanese consulate. One of the senseis was from the Japanese consulate in Sydney. And I asked him, where is the best place in Japan to learn kendo? And he said, Kumamoto. So hence, I came, quit my job. That is a fascinating story, and you've been here ever since. Yes. All right. Periodically great. going back to Australia, but most of the time. Great. Uh, so, gosh, that's over 30 years, way over 30 years. Yes. Um, what are some things you like about Japan? Uh, food's good. The people are nice, uh, except for the horses, of who. But uh, no, it's, it's a beautiful country, beautiful scenery, and very comfortable. Particularly, I wouldn't live in Tokyo. I hate the big cities. I'm from Sydney, and I didn't like Sydney too much as a big city. But uh, Kumoto is perfect. I agree. Uh, are there anything you? Uh, any things you don't like about Japan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Could, would, you, would you be able to expand on those a little bit? <laughs> the driving sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, not, not terribly, no. Um, some of the food I don't like. Namako. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I agree. Yeah, no, not all. Definitely not. Not that it was out of the question for me too. Uh, but is a good guy. Uh, oh yeah. Basashi. The only problem is if you eat too much, you get diarrhea. Yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Basashi is raw horse meat, by the way. For, yes. For people yes, who don't yes. know. Yeah. How about other raw foods like sushi, sashimi? Oh, I love like all, all kinds of fish. Okay, uh, great. Particularly uh, maguro. Wonderful. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about the Japanese pension system today. Sure. Uh, can you tell us ab about that? Uh, I'll let you explain it to everyone, and I'll let you talk about it for a little bit. I may have some questions sure. a little bit later, if possible. Well, when I first arrived, uh, I worked with the YMCA, most foreigners that came to the water at the time. And I thought, well, if I'm going to stay long term, I need to really think about the pension, uh, the Japanese pension. So I joined the system, and I've been paying into it ever since. But there are different pensions. I mean, I've always been self-employed, where um, other foreigners may work for a Japanese company, and that is covered by the pension, their wages, etc. And so once they Higher, they're getting a dual pension from the government and from the company. Where in my situation, I'm, I pay just into the Japanese government pension scheme. Hence, I only get it from the government. I'm not covered by companies. So I see. So, how, when you say you paid into the system, how did you go about doing that? Uh, I went to the pension system and uh, to the office. I had to, of course, show them that I was uh, a permanent resident, of course. And once I showed them that, uh, they said, OK, no problem, filled out a ton of forms, etc. And then paid into the scheme every month. Every month, OK. And was that throughout your whole time in Japan or your whole career, uh, whole adult career? or The first three or four years, I wasn't 
a member because I wasn't a permanent resident. Mm -hmm. I actually had a spouse visa. Oh, okay. But I don't think that was sufficient. But once I got the permanent resident visa, then I could join the pension scheme. I see. And did that, so that continued, I guess, throughout uh, until your retirement? I, yes. I, assume. I see. Uh, and so after you retired, and by the way, when did you retire? Uh, at my high school, uh, it's the foreigners anyway, it's 60. I see. So I retired at 60. So you had to retire at 60. But I had to wait five years before I could get the pension. Well, I think this is something a lot of foreigners don't know, right? That pension starts at 65. So, yes. So right, if you're... If you have to retire before 65, you're going to have to wait a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, well, that's true. Fortunately for me, uh, I was doing weddings as a, a wedding priest type thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that gave me an income coming in. Mm -hmm. And so that was sort of covering some of the things over those five years. I see, I see. Okay, great. So you had some income coming in and then when you hit 65, uh, you were able to take your pension out. Now, how do they pay pension here in Japan? I, I'm not really aware of that. Uh, I, well, my wife organized all that side of it, um, but I assume she gets all the money. Yeah. Right, so she's, she's <laughs> Japanese, so she knows that you're not working with this. Okay. But I assume they pay directly to my account, my bank account, and she automatically draws it out. I see. It. Spends it and, and she gives you a, a monthly allowance, or how does that work? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, really? Okay. So you just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you gotta, kind of steal money when you need it? Uh, no, I can ask my wife if I need money. Yeah. But, uh, no, I don't really need it. Generally, I get 10 yen a day. Oh, okay. That works. Okay. That works. It pays for my. Of course, sure, <laughs> which is important. Yeah, yeah. and your cigarettes too, I guess. Yes, occasionally. Okay, occasionally. Occasionally, good, 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 good. good. Okay, uh, what are the other things do foreigners, and we're kind of aiming at kind of growing old in Japan, uh, because I know a lot of foreigners living in Kumoto like yourself who are really getting up there in age, myself included, uh, and we don't know all the ins and outs of getting older in Japan. What are some other things that we need to be aware of? Well, I think one of the things that surprised me, my neighborhood or can you, the neighborhood, uh, you do uh, volunteer work. And one is being a Mr. Green Man. Really? Now yeah. what is that? Uh, Mr. Green Man is a mythology sound, right? And we have a Or can you explain Oji-san in, in English? Uh, old man. <laughs> old man, right, okay. Yeah. Old, old man. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm the youngest. Oh, All wow. the other guys are in their 80s, I think. Wowza. Okay. <coughs> but what we do, we... Uh, have, there are certain roads in Japan which only children can use to go to school back and forth. Mm -hmm. So we have a green vest from and a flag, a wow. yellow flag, and what we do is we control the traffic to and fro, and I stop see. the children that the cars go through, and so that's what I'm saying. It's volunteer work, you know, you do it three or four times a month, um, and you get paid. Wow, really? Yeah, yeah. one year you get the same Okay, so six thousand yen, all right? One about year. fifty something that U.S. dollars or so, right? Oh, well, that's not bad. There you go, great. And it's good for the community. Uh, well, I talk to the old people that I have to work with, and uh, they live in the government denshi, which is uh, uh, government uh, housing, housing. Okay, uh, right. So they're not very wealthy. I've got my own house, of course, and so I'm a little better off. Uh, but they tend to uh, be nice, very nice people, easy to work with. I mean, we don't communicate much, it's just uh, 
I need to buy all these two cars coming. Okay. Motorbike or whatnot. Yeah. That's pretty much our communication, so to speak. Yeah. And um, you know. So, you know, growing up older here in Japan, you tend, because of the corona situation now, I don't go out. I haven't gone out in two years right. to a bar or anything like that. I <coughs> stay home or I work here. That keeps me going. I can't watch Japanese TV. It drives me nuts. Because you've got game shows, food shows, more game shows, and more food shows. Unless you watch NHK, which is some are uh, quite interesting, some of the programs are most bloody boring. So I agree. So that's why I keep myself busy. Busy. I've got all these uh, hobbies that I have, and uh, I work here in Washington. It teaches me how to restore or try and promote a bike. So it keeps me busy. Yeah. I've got to be busy. Well, that's great, and you do some wonderful restoration work too, uh, which will be on another video actually. Uh, got some great items uh, today. We looked at your uh, violin and violin case restoration to be on another video uh, and we're going to look at your motorcycle restoration here coming up so um, I, I can definitely understand the aspect of keeping busy uh, and uh, being involved in the community and paying into the pension what about health related things have you had any health problems or, or are you worried uh, about health the only problem I have, uh, my eyes, mm -hmm. um, I have uh, injections twice a month mm -hmm. in both eyes, left and right, um, and that's just old age, generally, you know, people in their 60s start to lose their vision. Uh, in my case, uh, it's nothing severe, you don't go blind, you don't get problem is you can halt it but you can't cure it so what you're doing is you're just stopping it from getting worse uh, but that's good oh of course that's not next week oh, really well good luck on that thanks thank you very much for talking to us today john we really appreciate that yeah we'll be back at you with some more uh, videos everyone coming up here from Mr. John Moeen. Thank you, Jeffrey.